Uh, here we go. Then how do you use the assign to problem program to solve assignment problems? This one was seen in the 2024 VCE General 1 exam. I think it was question 39. And it was a multiple choice, one marker. And the students had to assign these four students to um, these four tasks. First of all, work out the cost for that. And then add in the fifth person, Edgar, and uh, work out what the cost was if Edgar was included with these times. And then to um, the actual one mark was to saying how much the saving was by bringing in this fifth person. So there was a lot of work to do for one mark. And um, if you had a program like this, it made life very straightforward. So let's have a look how it works. Now, in Maine, the first job we need to do is set up our cost matrix. So here are the costs associated with all four people doing the four tasks. So I've stored it into um, matrix A here already. So once that's done, then we head off into the program and choose the assign to program. If you don't have it in your calculator, if you visit um, charliewatson.com slash ATAR, then there's help there on how to put these things to get a copy of the program in the first place and then how to actually put it into your calculator. So we've chosen the program. We hit the play button at the top and we get this splash screen. Cost matrix must already exist. So then we tap OK. And the name of the cost matrix. Now I've stored it in uh, A, if you remember. So I'll get the keyboard up, tap in A and say OK. Do we want to minimize or maximize the assignment? We want the minimum cost. So we'll put in a zero and say OK. And so here's the original cost matrix that we've got here that we've already stored. And then we tap OK. Now, then the first job is to reduce the rows. So it's saying we've subtracted 8, 7, 10, and 10 from uh, row 1, row 2, row 3, and row 4. And then we say OK again. And here's um, the matrix. Um, now, after reducing the columns, then this is what we're left with. So we've subtracted 0, 0, 6, and 1. And then next up, um, we've in the previous matrix, we've covered row four and row columns two and four. The smallest uncovered number was one. And after adjusting by that, this is what we get. And OK again. And then it says here's the assignment. But what we're really interested in is just this minimum cost of 43. So we'll say OK. And I'm going to head back to Maine. Now we need to add in Edgar. So we'll just chuck a copy of this onto a new line. And we need to insert another uh, row underneath it all. So we'll grab the keyboard, go to Math 2. So long as um, the cursor is anywhere inside the matrix and we tap um, this little kind of column vector here, it just pops a blank row underneath. So we're going to type in 9 and 5 and 14. I don't think Edgar will be doing that job, but maybe. We never know. And then 8. And then this time, let's store it into... Um, matrix B. Okay, and well, where did that Z come from? So let me just, just get in a B there. Okay, no. so we'll hit execute. Back to the program, into here, choose the assignment, start it up, say OK, and this time keyboard comes up and we're using matrix B. Uh, and again, we want to minimize it zero, so we'll say OK. So you can see here's the original cost matrix. Now it's not square. So the first thing the program does is adjust it by adding a row of dummy zeros. Then it tells us how it reduced the columns. So um, because obviously there was no row reduction to be done here. And so um, we've subtracted 9, 5, 14, and 8. And then we've um, started covering rows and columns. We covered row and column 5. The smallest uncovered was 1. And so the minimum cost is now 39. And so basically the answer was part D where it was a, when there's a four mark, um, a, a saving of four in the cost. But that's basically how this little um, fella works. Uh, the, it'll also maximize the cost if you want that. That was the, um, the one of the options there. Uh, but I think this video has gone on long enough now. You guys will get the hang.